Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing my empties video. These are products that I've used, tried and true, and I love them so much that I've used them completely up. And when I'm off my no spend diet in a couple of months, maybe these are types of things that I'll be repurchasing or I'll be putting them on my wish list for my birthday or Christmas. So let's get started. There's about five or six products. And the first one is the Bare Minerals Naturally Luminous Purifying Facial Cleanser. And it looks like this. And this stuff is super amazing, super awesome. Basically, what I use this stuff for is my daily cleanser. I use this in the morning while I'm in the shower, and then I use it again at night to wash off all my makeup and my moisturizers and things for the day. And then, of course, I moisturize afterwards. Um, this stuff goes for about $20 at the Bare Minerals Boutique. And basically, it's like a gel cleanser. It's um, clear. What you do, it's unscented also. And what you do is just take one pump, put it on your face work it in really good I like to leave it on my skin for a couple minutes just so it penetrates and then I rinse it off and it works really amazing and I'll definitely be repurchasing this at some point the next thing is the Mac fix plus and this I purchased probably maybe a good six months or so ago it lasted me a really long time as you guys can see there is nothing left in it I completely used it all up I like to use this as a mixing medium and also as a finishing spray and I believe this goes for $18 to $20. I'm not really 100% sure because, again, I purchased it six months ago. So um, this is completely gone, and I will definitely be repurchasing this at some point, or I will put it on a wish list. The next thing is a Bath & Body Works Slack & Co. candle, and it's the Drenched Apple Flower. This stuff smells super amazing. It's a mix between... Um, crisp green apples and like a nice like light lotusy flower and I love this stuff so much as you can see it's completely gone I burned it down until it hit glass and this is what the label looks like it just says drenched apple flower and it's by Slacken and Co and this one was actually 350 according to this so I did purchase this because I'd never smelled this before except in the store and sometimes I feel like when you smell a fragrance of a candle in the store, but when you get it home and it burns, it smells different. So I decided to buy the little one just to see how I liked it, and I really absolutely love it, and I would love to buy the full size as soon as I get off my no-spend diet. So The next is the Wish Shave Cream in Pomegranate, and it looks like this. I actually got this from my Birch Box this past month, and I loved it so much, it's absolutely gone. And... This stuff doesn't really smell like pomegranate to me. It does have a little bit of a fruity smell to it, but I don't really think it screams pomegranate, but it definitely smells good. And the thing that I love about this is it's not like your typical shave cream. It doesn't foam up and it doesn't get all thick and gooey. It's this nice thin cream that you actually, it's so silky and smooth, you just put it on your skin and it's a nice little like layer but a thin layer on your skin so when you shave you can see the hairs on your skin being uh, removed and it doesn't mask your entire leg to where you can't see everything and you can still see it just enough that you know where you've shaved so it smells super good I'm not sure what the full size um, price is for this but this like I said came in my birch box the next thing is the bare essentials primetime eyelid primer and it looks like this this is just the original eyelid primer love this stuff so much I have gone through this stuff more than once. I've repurchased it several times and it leaves a nice thin layer that neutralizes out any red undertones on your skin. Just gives you a nice even eyelid to work with and it makes your um, your foundation. Your eyeshadow lasts all day long no matter if you sweat or if you know you have any kind of cheap eyeshadows or not cheap eyeshadows on. It doesn't matter. It really makes the stuff stick like glue and I absolutely love this and I will definitely repurchase it when I get off my no spend diet. So in the meantime, I do have two other ones like this, but they are tinted primetime shadow um, eyelid primers. So I will be utilizing those and using those up as bases until I get off my no spend diet. And the last thing is this Celestine or Celestine eyeshadow from Bare Essentials. It was full and it was given to me by one of the ladies at the Bare Essentials boutique to try and see if I liked it and I loved it so much it's gone. It was like a chocolatey color, a light chocolatey color with a really pretty silver sparkle to it and it was so amazing. I used it for a blending color, I used it for an all over lid color and some days I put vanilla on my eyes from Urban Decay and then I use this in the crease and that is what it's spelled like, Cel Celestine, Celestine. 
I'm not really sure, but I absolutely love this and I would love to purchase this full size once I get off my nose fun diet. So those are the favorites that I have been loving and loving so much that I've actually gone through them. What are your favorites and what things have you emptied? Leave them in the down bar and I will talk to you guys all in the next video. Bye.